There is a battle going on for the best budget vice, and we're going to tell you what it is. Fried fish food. Okay, so one of the most common questions we get asked when it comes to getting started in fly tying is what vice should I begin with? And a lot of people are looking for more of a budget or entry level vice. So today we're going to break down a lot of uh, the options, at least our favorite options for those types of beginner budget vices, which one might be the best for you. Yeah, so we have a huge selection of vices in our store. When we brought in vices, we wanted to think of vices that would last for a long, long time. So we eliminated a lot of the cheap $15 vices that you see out there. And uh, so our, our price range for these vices starts around $45 bucks and, and it just goes up from there to about $200, right? So Yeah, I would say, I mean, you can get a vice for $15 off of eBay. And the problem is, I think in order for it to hold a hook and last you more than a few flies, you're going to have to be up there in the 50 to 80 to 100 dollar range at least to get out of the gate. Um, one thing we do get asked about a lot is should I buy a kit that includes a vise? Generally our advice is no, stay away from those because they'll very often include a vise that's way subpar, uh, probably won't last you a long time and includes a lot of materials that you're not going to use. So. Just take that for what it's worth. These are good ones that you can use to get into the game. It's going to be a solid vice for you, and it will, most importantly, hold a hook. Yeah, and that's, that's thing number one. If your vice does not hold a hook without slipping, it's failed its purpose on this earth, throw it through the window. Wait. Done. Yeah, so it's get, get rid of that thing. Yeah. So all the vices that we have on the table here are vices that will hold a, a hook nice and snug. Sometimes they perform a little bit better with smaller or larger hooks and we'll kind of go through all those intricacies as we go through these vices. Okay, the first vice. And you'll notice our selection lineup of the bottom of our selection, meaning cheapest, most cost effective, are Griffins. Griffins. Yeah, so this one is called the Griffin Superior 1A C-clamp vise. So this is a C-clamp. It's designed to go on the edge of the table. So you need to make sure that your table is C-clamp friendly, aka not too wide, and it's always going to be there just kind of on the table. The other, the other style of vise that you see is a, a pedestal vise. Um, so there, there are lots of different preferences there, but typically on your, your entry-level vises are going to have a C-clamp and a, a non-rotary jaw. These vices rotate. You can apply materials using the rotary feature or standard feature. And just word to the wise, if you try a rotary vice and you end up liking it, you're not going to be able to be happy with back. anything else. Yeah. All right. And so this any, starts out at how much? This one starts at like 56 bucks. As of today. As if of today. If you're watching this 10 years from now, it could be different. It could be different. But what this jaw will give you is very excellent hook holding power. Um, you know, it, it's a simple operation. You kind of get the top knob a little bit tight, not even touching the hook, and then you crank this one down, and it's going to provide 100% lockdown. Um, we see a lot of people who are kids getting into this, uh, where their parents will get them one of these. I would have loved to have this vice when I was yeah. starting out. So anyway, so that's a good. $56 option. And I have tied on this one for sure. It's a good one. It's a good one. Don't worry, I'm just doing all the work here. Curtis, you want to talk about this bad boy? Please get it closer to me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one is the Griffin Montana Pro Vice that comes in at a nice sub $100, 94 $95 range. Uh, as opposed to the last one, this one has a cam locking device. It's a little bit more um, efficient, quicker, kind of, uh, you can change uh, hook sizes a lot quicker. Also has a knob to help you adjust the jaw width when it's open. So that could uh, go from a really small hook to a really large hook with a quick twist of the knob. 
The other thing about that vise is it has the exact same jaw as their flagship vise, which is the Griffin Montana Mongoose. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But because of the length of the jaw, you'll get 100% lockdown all the way up to like 8 yeah. it, It's an amazing vise. Consider the length of the where the cam is to the end of the jaws. That's lever action from an engineering nerd, which means Whatever. mega super awesome hook holding capabilities. So for under 100 bucks, <clears throat> Super great vise, um, top quality materials, and uh, you can't go wrong with something like that. This is our first real entry into the rotary vise world. It's the Griffin Odyssey Spider vise. So as you can see, the whole vise head rotates, um, and it's got the same uh, jaw as their entry level vise, and it has actually really, really good hook holding power. Um, back in the day when I used to tie on a lot of Griffins, I, I had one of these for a few months just to test out and it actually tied everything from about a size 28 all the way up to four aught. And so if you were on a budget, this one would be an excellent vice. It just comes in at just over a hundred dollars. It's priced right now at 108, but it's got the C clamp. Um, but overall, I mean, it doesn't look like a super awesome vise, just because it's kind of uh, very simplified in its design, but mechanically and, and functionally, it is an awesome piece of gear. I know people who have tied on this one for quite a while. And, and it's rotary, so that's, for a lot of people, that's kind of, you want us, they want to start on rotary, you've talked to your buddies or whatever, and yeah. rotary's the way to go. You cannot touch a rotary vise <clears throat> at this price really outside of that one. And if you add on 20 bucks, you're, you're gonna go up to the spider cam vise, which the only difference really is you have like a little bit more brass hardware and it's got a little the cam, cam lever. Yeah. This thing is actually a great, great vise for the money, 120 bucks. So anyway, those are kind of your Griffin entry level vices. All right, going <laughs> to the next one in our lineup is the Wolf Apex Vice. Uh, these are great vice. They're uh, not a true rotary, but you can rotate them uh, just to get a different angle on the fly. So retail on this one is about a hundred dollars. It uh, has a good set of jaws. So again, you're not true rotary, but for around a hundred bucks, you're getting a good piece of machinery. And it's got a material clip for you. A lot of people like those. It is a pedestal version. And um, Apex, Wolf, they've been around for quite a while. A lot of people tie on this type of vise. Uh, again, it's a, a great option for somebody just getting into tying. So I, I had this vise for a while. I actually still have it in my, my basement. And the things that I like about this is the jaw is really, really fine at the tip. So it's a great little midge tying vise. It has a few notches in the jaw, and then the clamping mechanism is actually a pretty big lever, so you can just grab the whole vise like this and clamp it down. Um, so those are some of the things that I like about the vise. And this is the first entry that you've seen with a pedestal base. So you have the apex. Okay, Peak Mafia, rejoice. Yes, you're out there. We know, we, you love your Peak Vices, made in Colorado. Well, guess what? It's a solid vise. I think of all the vices on the market, I like this pedestal base the most because yeah. it's very, very simple. It's very sturdy. It's not going to rotate, but it's a, it's a very, very sturdy vice. So this vice comes in at, at just under 160 bucks as, as it sits right now. Now you can get other, other add-ons for this where you can get a crank for the rotary. Um, you can add brass knobs here um, all the way up to different jaw sets for this. But what I've found is this, the standard jaw that comes with the peak is really pretty versatile. You can tie really small trout midges with this one. You can tie bigger streamers with it. And you know, it's, it's all metal parts. It's got a lifetime warranty. So um, there's a reason why people like tying with their peak vices. It's because it's a very well-made vise. It holds great trout sized hooks and it's a good vise to start with. And also, what I would say is when it comes to beginner vices, 
we kind of have our really entry level tier, which are the ones that we previously talked about, starting with the peak and the rest of these we're going to mention. These are what I would call kind of your sweet spot starters. These are ones that are a notch above the others. You're paying roughly double and up for these, but you're still be between 160 to 200 dollars. So we're going to kind of max out this selection of beginner vices at 200 dollars, which considering how much you'll use these things and get a lifetime out of them, that's a steal. So it's a great price for this level of vice. And again, these are I, I would say these are kind of your big boy vices, and you're starting into that range. Yeah, the, these really are a lifetime vice. I mean, you'll be able to get years and years. They all have great warranties as well. So if you have any issues, uh, not a problem. Talk to the manufacturers and they'll get you taken care of. Okay, so next in the lineup is one of our perennial favorites. It's a vice that both Cheech and I have tied on for years and years. And that is the Griffin Montana Mongoose. Uh, note that the base that we have on this one right here is not the included base, although it does come with the pedestal base. This one is a fancy one that we have on display that's uh, available. You can buy that in the store. Uh, but here's the things that I like about the Montana Mongoose. Number one, it comes in the same package for around $200, a C-clamp and a pedestal. And it comes in a nice hard case. So there are no other vices that come with that option out of the box, which is phenomenal. People like C-clamp because you can tie them, your, tie them into your table, attach them to the table, and those will not move. You can yank on really big deer hair flies uh, down to really small stuff, and the C-clamp, which I use, uh, is you're a noob. super stable because I'm a noob. The pedestal's nice because you can literally move from here to here. You can go to a tying show and not have to worry about it, whether the table supports a C-clamp. So the pedestals are very versatile. A lot of people just like them anyways, uh, but it comes with both of them. The other nice thing about the mongoose, for again, around 200, 205 to 210, you're looking at, uh, it comes with this bobbin cradle, the awesome material holder, and it also comes with some tools. So you get a bobbin, some threaders, a hackle gauge, and I think that's about it, but it comes all within that. You don't have to pay extra. So they've done a great job. You can cover a huge variety of hooks from really small, tiny 30, 32 hooks on up to really big ones. It's cam operated, so you've got a good leverage amount. Uh, you can adjust the position of where your uh, jaws are with the alignment of the rotary. And probably one of our favorite features, again, that comes uh, out of the box is the crank handle that's oriented horizontally. A lot of the other ones don't come with that. They are nice because you can rotate the vise uh, with that handle not have to worry about it slipping off. Not a huge thing, but a lot of people really like that. Once you get used to holding onto the crank to rotate, it's, yeah, it's, it's hard, to, hard to get used to, yep. or how, hard to go back, yeah. So there we have the Griffin Montana Mongoose. So we're gonna let Curtis talk about this, this little Regal too. Everyone loves themselves some Regal vices. Yeah. And rightfully so, because they're great. So next on the docket is our entry level option from Regal, which is the Regal Travel Vice. Uh, Regal, one of the things that they're very well known for is the squeeze and hold or squeeze and release mechanism on the vise. So in order to get the hooks in and out, you simply grasp this little handle, open it up, and then let go to uh, clamp down on the hook. So this is one, and it, it's in a small form factor, so very simple. It's got the pedestal, which is heavy enough to be uh, useful, you know, to balance where you're, what you're tying. The jaws that come with this uh, will hold a, a pretty decent sized variety of hooks. Uh, one thing with this one I would say is it's not really great for really small hooks, but it can tie, um, I don't know, 18s, 20s, probably just fine. Um, and again, small form factor, so it's uh, good to travel with. I know a lot of people that will have a regular re Regal. Uh, if you're into the Regal clamp method, which is super convenient, one of the nice things I like about Regals is that there's nothing inhibiting your tying space up here. So as long as you're cool with not without having true rotary, uh, it is nice because this uh, clears your tying space. So it's it's a ergonomically, it's a great option. Yeah. The, the other thing about this that I that I see when we, we covered this on our last video. This is not the proper orientation <laughs> for it. Um, and this little spring on the top is a material clip. So tie with it like that. 
and be happy. Okay, so the final vice that we're going to cover is the great Renzetti Traveler vice. Now this is the Renzetti Traveler 2000 series. They, they have a bunch of different series of the, Re the Traveler vice that include more finish on them. They include maybe a little bit bigger jaw on the saltwater vice, which is our top seller, by the way. But this is the entry into a Renzetti Traveler. Uh, for the pedestal version, it's $174. Um, and I think the C-clamp is even a little bit less than yeah. that. We all in the shop tie on Renzetti's right now, and it's because of the phenomenal jaw that they put in their vices. Uh, it's a very easy to adjust jaw, uh, a very small turn, and you've got 100% lockdown on any hook from about 32. And on this one, I've, I've put everything up to about three or four aught in it. Um, so a couple of things about this one is it's, it's pretty bare bones. I mean, there, there's not a material clip on it. It does come with a, a bobbin cradle, but a material clip's like 10 bucks. Some people say, well, there are a lot of plastic parts on this, like this knob is plastic, these knobs are plastic, but they're, they're a high durable or a high quality durable plastic that are gonna last forever. Um, Lance, I think, tied on the Traveler for about 20 years yeah. before we forced him to upgrade. And I think he got the jaws replaced maybe once. Yeah. And the nice thing about the Renzetti's too is we carry a full line of all the replacement parts. So if it does <clears throat> go bad after five years and you put a lot of wear and tear on it, you go in, you buy a little spare replacement part, and you're off to the races. So an interesting thing about this exact vise is I have a Renzetti Master vise at home and I have the Saltwater Traveler for my show vise or my travel vise. But when we do videos here in this office, you'll see that I'm tying on this vise. And the reason for that is because I really don't lose any of that hook holding power. My muscle memory is, is aligned with the Renzetti style tying. Um, but anyway, it's a phenomenal vice. This is a lifetime vice for 175 bucks. So at the end of the day, one of the things I would say, we have tied on all of these vices quite extensively. One of the things when we started our fly shop, we wanted to make sure that we knew the tools really well. And based on the hundreds or thousands of people that have come through our shop and purchased vices, we would just say, again, these are good group of vices to select from if you're getting started or if you even want to upgrade from your $15 vice. Uh, we've tied on them. These are all great products. How do you choose is going to be based on your budget, be based on maybe what you like. If you, if you like rotary, if you're tying a lot of still water flies or buggers or things that require or make rotary a little bit more efficient for you, then go with the rotary. If your buddy's got a, a Regal and you really like the Regal style, they make a great product. Phenomenal. So. Uh, again, we're not saying one is better than the other. We've given you a good selection of options to choose from. Every one of these is available on our store. You can find a link uh, in the description below for every single one of them. And uh, yeah. And at the end of the day, you will not de be disappointed with any of these vices because they do pass that test. They hold a hook first and foremost. Everything else is just bells and whistles. I tie it on this one for, whoa. You gotta put that one in the outtakes.